That's the Clan Health Clan Master today we're going to do a bit of a deep dive into the chain rule. Let's jump straight in. Find the y by the x of a derivative of, and we've got y equals 5x plus 1 all cubed. Now, you may be wondering, what is the chain rule? So the chain rule is when you've got some sort of inner function, smaller function, bounded by a bigger function on the outside, in this case, the whole thing cubed. And what you can do when you've got that case is you can think of it like this. The y by dx is the derivative of the outside function, leaving the inside alone, times the derivative of the inside function. So let's have a look at this example. If I want to do the y by dx of this example, then if we look at our outside function, it's cubed. So we use the power rule, take 3 down to the front, leaving the inside alone, and reduce the power by 1. So it's 3 times the inside squared, and the inside is just 5x plus 1. I now need to do the derivative of the inside function. Well, the inside function is just 5x plus 1, so I need to times by 5, because if you do 5x becomes 5 when you differentiate it, and 1 is just a constant, so that becomes 0. So our final answer, just tidying it up a little bit, is the y by dx equals 3 times 5 is 15, 5x plus 1 squared. So I suppose the main key point to remember is if you've ever got a function within a function to find the derivative, you do the derivative of the outside function, just leaving the inside alone, and then you do the derivative of the inside function. Okay, let's look at a second example where it says y equals bracket x squared plus 3x plus 4 all to the power of 4. So our inside function is just this in pink and our outside is all that to the power of 4. So the y by dx equals, take the 4 down to the front, leave the inside alone, and reduce the power by 1. So I've done my first differentiation. The inside is just x squared plus 3x plus 4. I now need to differentiate the inside part. So it's going to be times by x squared you can differentiate using the power rule to 2x. 3x becomes 3, and 4 becomes nothing. So we've got 2 times 2x and 3. We can now just tidy that up a little bit. So the y by dx is simply 4 times my 2x plus 3 times my x squared plus 3x plus 4 cubed. Okay, let's look at some trig. So this one we're going to try and differentiate is y equals sine cubed x. So when it's written like that, it's sometimes best to think of sine cubed x as sine of x cubed, and it's easy to see what's happening. So if I rewrite that as y equals sine x bounded by cubed, you can see your inner function clearly is just sine x, and your outer function is to the power of 3. So we differentiate it in the usual way to y by dx equals 3 to the front, reduce the power by 1, so that becomes 2, leave the sine x alone. But now I need to differentiate the sine x. Sine, remember, becomes cos, so I'm times and by cos x. Now we can just tidy that up, so the y by dx is equal to 3 cos x sine squared x, because it's sine of x squared. So we've got another trig example, so this time I've got y equals cos of cos x. A little bit hard, harder one, but I've kept the colours consistent, so you can see what's happening. So my outer function is this cos, and my inner function is just cos x. So the y by dx is equal to differentiate my outer function, cos goes to minus sine, leave the inner function alone, and then I need to times by the differentiated inner function, which was cos x, cos becomes minus sine x, so that gives me times minus sine x. 
tidying that up just a little bit, dy by dx, minus times a minus is a plus, so I've got sine x times the sine of cos x. Okay, our official formula then for the chain rule. So if you've got y equals some function of another function of x, f of g of x, to differentiate that, you do differentiate f the function with respect to g of x, but then times by g of x differentiated. Or in terms of Leibniz notation, if f is some function of u, f of u, and u is some function of x, g of x, then dy by dx, you might be familiar with this, is just simply dy by du times du by dx. Right, some further last examples, sometimes you have to do it twice. You have to do the chain rule upon a chain rule. These can nest in each other over and over. So for instance, if I had f of x is x plus sine 3x squared, if I rewrite that, then that equals squared x plus sine 3x. That's my f of x. So my f dash x, differentiating the outer function, 2 times our inner function, so we reduce the power by 1, and our inner function, it stays the same, x plus sine 3x. But now we need to differentiate x plus sine 3x. Differentiate x, you get 1. But you've got this sine 3x. If we just do that at the side, let's say y equals sine 3x, then dy by dx would be cos 3x. But then we've got an inner function here, so we need to differentiate that to get 3. So it would be 3 cos 3x. So I've got 1 plus 3 cos 3x. I've essentially had to use the chain rule twice in the same question. So now just tidying this up a little bit, our f dash x is simply 2 x plus sine 3x, 1 plus 3 cos 3x. And you could expand the brackets here, but there's no real need to. I think that's as tidy as it's going to be. Okay, one last example. y equals cos cubed 2x add 4. We want to differentiate that. So let me rewrite that one. y equals cos 2x plus 4 but then the whole thing's being cubed. So we're just keeping our wits about us, the y by dx comes down to the front times our whole inner squared, and our inner is cos 2x plus 4. I now need to differentiate this whole thing. So remember that means that cos becomes minus sine, 2x plus 4, but this 2x plus 4 is also a function, so I need to differentiate that, so I need to times by 2. So I've had to use the chain rule twice again there. Tidying that up, dy by dx, we've got 3 cos 2x plus 4, cos squared 2x plus 4 times minus 2 sine 2x plus 4. So dy by dx, 3 twos are 6, so minus 6 cos squared 2x plus 4 sine 2x plus 4. And that's been a brief overview of the chain rule and have not extend that to using the chain rule within the chain rule, the double chain rule as well. Hopefully that you found this video useful and helpful. If you did, give it a like and a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. Next video, we'll be looking at the product rule and the quotient rule. Take care, stay safe and goodbye.